aren't friends. Will and I are taking a little snack break here on the porch. And I wanted to share with you some fun things that you can do on a beautiful day like today um, here in my stories. So my friend Callie, in, she's an art teacher at um, Westwood Elementary in Ash County. She reminded me of how scientists can be artists sometimes because they go out in the field and take notes. Um, those are called field notes. And when they draw, they're called field sketches. And if a scientist or an artist is observing their environment, then they're going to draw pictures of things that are interesting to them or um, write down things about um, maybe questions about what they have about their environment. Um, and you can do this in pencil, you could do this in paint, <laughs> um, you could do this um, in your sketchbook or on just a piece of paper. And so to later today, I'm going to go out and do some of that and record <laughs> how I do that and um, how I might use paint and drawing to create some field sketches. Okay, hey, art friends, I'm out in my backyard, so you don't have to go far to do your field sketching. Um, you just need to have the materials with you. And um, here are what I have. I have my sketchbook and I have this big fat pencil. So you don't need a lot. I'm gonna start by observing my surroundings and this rhododendron bush in our yard. And I really like the way that the leaves look and the kind of radial pattern that they create. So I'm gonna start by um, sketching that. Now that I have one sketch in my sketchbook, I'm gonna maybe stay in the same area, look around and see what other related plants are around in the same area as the rhododendron. Um, I can even write some things that I see, and how windy it is. Sometimes um, scientists record the weather, the temperature, um, just really taking in and um, figuring out what's in their environment. Another thing you can do while you're sitting out here is just sit and be quiet and listen to the sounds and that way you can record the sounds that are in your environment as well. So I went ahead and recorded some observations. It's a very windy day, today's date, and what I'm hearing, what happened, totally got some bird poop on my phone, then I also saw a little clover and these little tiny flowers that were right there. So you don't have to just do one thing on each page. You can do a whole gathering of, of objects on the page. They can be small drawings. They can be big drawings. Um, and you can even sit out here and paint them, enjoy the sunshine. You can go inside and paint them. And in a little while, I'll show you how you can make your own watercolor paint, even if you don't have watercolors. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. So I promise I will show you how you can make your own watercolors. So right here I have a piece of tin foil with just markers marked on the tin foil and I can use my brush just like that and paint it right on the paper there. So I use these markers, marker paints to do this so far on my field sketching. Hope y'all can try that at home.